Okay, question 14. We have some probability. So a teacher in a college asks her mathematics students what other subjects they are studying. Uh, she finds that of her 24 students, 12 study physics, 8 study geography, and 4 study geography and physics. A student has chosen a random from the class. Part A asks us to uh, determine whether the event, the student studying physics, and the event, the student studies uh, geography, are independent. Okay, so let's first of all turn these into probabilities. So the probability of physics is 12 out of 24, so that's a half. Probability of geography is 8 out of 24, so that's a third. And Probability of geography and physics. So the intersection is uh, 4 out of 24. So that's a sixth. Okay, so then we need to think what about what it means if they are independent events. So if independent. And then, the probability of physics times the probability of geography will equal the probability of physics and geography. So, probability of physics times the probability of geography is a half times a third which gives us a sixth. Now we know that the probability of physics and geography is one sixth. Therefore they are independent events. Go. Cool. Okay, then for part B and for marks, it is known that for the whole college, the probability of a student studying mathematics is one-fifth. Try that out. The probability of a student studying biology is uh, one sixth. And uh, the probability of a student, student studying biology, given that they study mathematics, is three eighths. So the probability of biology given mathematics is three eighths. We want to calculate the probability that a student studies maths or biology or both. So we want the probability of maths union Biology. So we are given a few formulas that are going to help us Okay, there we go. Here's the probability stuff So we got the probability of A union B is uh, the probability of A and the probability of B 
minus the intersection. So, we know probability of maths union biology is the probability of maths and the probability of biology minus the intersection. Now, two of those three things we know. What we need to work out is the intersection. Now that other formula that we are given is that the probability of A intersection B is the probability of A times the probability of B given A. So the which way around do we want it? We want the probability or we have the probability of B given M. So we're gonna have it that the probability of um, maths intersection biology is the probability of maths times the probability of biology given maths. Now that is uh, maths was one fifth times the probability of um, biology given maths, which was three eighths. So that gives us um, three four tips. So now we know all three things that we need for the union. So, probability of maths or biology is the probability of maths to the fifth and the probability of biology which was one sixth Minus the intersection, so minus three four tips. Now one fifth and a sixth is six thirtieths and five thirtieths, so that's going to be eleven thirtieths minus three four tips. Both of those go into 120, so that's going to be uh, 44 one twentieths minus 9 one twentieths, and that is going to give us 35 over 120, which I suppose can simplify to 7 over 24. Cool.